Well, um, I want to start documenting my physical journey. Um, excuse the background noise. Um, I figured I would start now with a view to talking about my mindset maybe, um, what's led me here. Um, as for my starting weight, I won't know that until the 1st of January. Monday the 1st of January, that's when we're going to find out that damage. Um, so, I obviously am a very big girl. Uh, the last time I weighed myself, we are looking at roughly 207 kilos. It's probably more than that now. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. So, I am starting in the new year the carnivore diet. I am still in fact gathering mode. There's a lot of websites that I've been looking at and reading. There's a lot of YouTube channels that I've been looking at and listening to, seeing the most incredible transformations. I will say now, before I go any further, disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I am not a professional. And I am not in any position to give such advice to anybody. So, yeah, not everybody is going to be okay with this sort of diet. And that's fine. Um, just as long as I'm not, you know, made to feel bad for my choices. I won't make you feel bad for yours. It's as simple as that. What you see is what you get with me. I am, this is me. So, how did it get like this? Well, I wasn't always big. When I was little, there are pictures of me actually quite svelte, skinny, not skinny, skinny, but, you know, average size. And um, long story short, my mother was an opera singer. And it looks like around about the time that she started to travel an awful lot for her career, that's when the weight started to pile on. And it has been a battle ever since. There was a period of time where I did lose a lot of weight. I was in boarding school and I was on such a strict diet. Oh my God. I was even on appetite suppressants. And in those days they were ooh, dodgy. Um, the one that I was on in uh, boarding school was Ponderax Pay Caps. They have since, I believe, been taken off the market long ago because they uh, apparently uh, are linked to heart problems, which, touch wood, I do not have. You would think that somebody of my size would have blood pressure, diabetes, heart problems, the whole nine yards, but I don't. I've had two babies um they're in not like, one is going to be 21 next year the other one's going to be 16 so you know i was still a big girl when i conceived and had my kids um i didn't even get those usual things that women get when they're pregnant i still didn't get the blood pressure problems i didn't get gestational diabetes uh, i was marked as a very boring case because i just didn't get those things so I put that down to luck, but there's only so much you can do with that, you know. You can lead a semi-charmed kind of life, uh, but that's only going to get you so far. So, we're, you know, that brings me to now. Um, I have the most monumentally painful joint pain. I'm on a walking stick. I can still walk but very short distances, very, very, very short distances. And I'm sick of it. Fair income, I'm sick and tired of it. I am literally sick and tired of living like this. I, I, I roll around the house on an office chair on wheels. I'm over it. 
absolutely over it. And this is just not living, you know? It's just, it, it, it's not a way of life. It, it's an existence at best. And that's really at best. That's, that's giving it even that not enough. It, it's just, it's too much credit. I would not call the sort of physical life that I have constructive in any way. Not at all. Emotionally and mentally, yeah, I'm fine. Like up here, I'm in the right place for it up here, which is very important with any kind of lifestyle change. Um, you got to get this right. You got to get this right. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm just, you know, when you get to this point in your life, I'm 56 years old, I'm just not done living. There's things I want to do. And I just cannot do them like this. It's it's just not possible. And my brain and my heart, my brain and my 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 thoughts and my emotions are the only things that can move quickly. But physically, I can't. And and that is just it's confining in every sense of the word. It's just the pits to have a a mind that can go bang 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 bang. And then to have a, an emotions, a, a range of emotions that go bang, 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 bang. And then the body that's like, it's like, mm -mm, can't do it. It's, I just, I can't, yeah. The confinement that comes with this lack of movement is just beyond what I'm willing to tolerate anymore. I just can't handle it. I just can't. So I just thought I'd do a bit of a vlog and just put it out there and i'm going to document this journey i'm going to try and do a video every week summarize what i've eaten summarize how i felt some of the side effects of which i <laughs> look i've been on that many diets i've done let me see i did jenny craig some time ago that was okay but you have to buy all their food and that was in those days um eventually things just tasted very packety and very tinny um so i lost interest in that um i'd say if i was going to pick any diets that i've had a, a, a good deal of success with one was tony ferguson um but it, Compared to what I eat now, I mean, you wouldn't think that, I mean, I don't eat very much, but I obviously re eat the wrong things, duh. Um, and of course the movement's not matching, the the input's not matching the output. How can it with all this pain? Um, so Tony Ferguson, that worked very well for me. I got down to, oh, bolly boy. I lost roughly about, I think, memory serves about 70 kilos looked in the mirror one day, didn't recognize who it was. And I'm like, ah, oh, frighten the living daylights out of me. So that I just full on self-sabotaged myself out of that one. Uh, the other one that I actually had really good success with was the ketogenic diet. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. We all know it's high fat, low carb. So I know what a semi-strict routine looks like in terms of diets. I'm no stranger to any of them. I've done even the Scarsdale diet. That is brutal. Does it work? Oh, yeah, but it is brutal. I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. And you do get sick of grapefruit real quick. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, memory serves it's lean meats and i'm like mm, no that's not sitting well with me so for me in 2024 it is carnival because i really do need something simple for me it needs to be as simple as hmm what am i gonna have for dinner oh a barbecue rississerie chicken what am i gonna have for dinner Hmm, let's have some scrambled egg with bacon in it. What am I going to have for dinner? A steak with a great big knob of butter on it. Hmm, I need something that simple. 
I can't be coping with overcomplicated recipes, even though that you know the the ketogenic diet is great, but you know there is only so much I can tolerate of looking into keto friendly pizza doughs before I lose my mind. You know, it's like I can't cope with all those ingredients. I'm just no, 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 no. There are people that can do that, and that's fine. I just, I just can't cope with that. I need something simple. And I'm thinking that pending the nitty gritties of things like electrolytes and maybe a few other little bits and pieces in terms of what I'm actually going to be putting in my gob, I think the carnivore diet's going to be it. as simple as it's going to get. Mm. So that's where I'm going. That's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm spending the rest of this year preparing myself for that i mean look if i could start tomorrow could i could i start tomorrow yes yes i could do i want to no i i'm that excited about it that i want to delay that gratification i know this sounds really strange it's just it's a goal first of january it just i need and it just so happens everybody first of january is on a monday how wonderful is that you get to start the new year at the beginning of a week oh so yeah that is my little vloggerette um i don't think there's much else to add if i feel the need to do another vlog then i will but if i don't then the next one you see will be i'll do one on day one to report what my measurements are, what my weight is. I'm going to get my husband to take photographs of me. Yep. I'm pulling it. Yep. I'm just, it's all going in here. Uh, you're going to get to see what sort of a mess I am in. It needs to be out there. It really does. Because when this is a success, I'm going to need that video to look back on. And I'm not going to dress this journey up with any bells beeps and buzzers and ribbons of this and pretty bows of that what you see is what exactly what you're going to get um yeah so roll on 2024 i say because i'm quite excited about it uh take care of yourselves be kind to yourself and be kind to those around you